Let's move on to Bitcoin, shall we? That's a, a virtual currency. We're going to talk about the cyber threat now. And who's ever heard of the Bitcoin? It's even been called the future of money, the Bitcoin. For more on this cryptic and still somewhat confusing currency that is Bitcoin. People are fascinated by anything that makes new highs every day for weeks on end, which Bitcoin has done. Is it a, is it a market? Is it a bank? Is it an exchange? We're asking whether or not this currency really has any longevity, let alone legitimacy. Do you ever think that it has the potential to replace traditional paper currency? It is gold 2.0. Cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin is the first example. I believe they're going to change the world. This is the time where people should be trying really big, crazy things. Bitcoins are generated using a process called mining. Your computer is given a complex mathematical problem to solve, and the goal is a 64-digit number. If your grey box can successfully solve that algorithm, then congratulations, you are the proud owner of a new block. The network automatically adjusts the difficulty of mining so that bitcoins are created roughly every 10 minutes. The reason they call it mining is because there's a set number of bitcoins that can ever be mined in the system. There's only 21 million bitcoins that will ever be created in total. You can't just print off cash like they do in the real world. You're digging it out of the system like precious metals from some mathematical mine. Like you can pretty much attribute everything that's going on here to, gold to like mining. a real gold mining operation. It's like you have heavy equipment, you have cost, you have fuel costs, yep. and you have recovery. Everything. That you then go and sell and turn into real money. I mean, these things are all blowing out massive air. Now the cooling in here is so efficient. It is nice ice cold air coming in here. You put your hand in the front down the center, it is burning, burning hot. So if you're asking yourself, is Bitcoin mining profitable on this scale? Hell yes it is. A Bitcoin is the reward for solving complex mathematical puzzles, and Bitcoin miners let their computers work day and night to complete these tasks. All the Bitcoin users in the world are connected, and together they constitute a network that accesses and checks all Bitcoin transactions in a public ledger called the blockchain. Satoshi's invention eliminates the need for a central bank, because all the users together are the bank. With paper money, a government decides when to print and distribute money. Bitcoin doesn't have a central government. The Bitcoin network automatically changes the difficulty of the math problems, depending on how fast they're being solved. In the early days, Bitcoin miners solved these math problems with the processors and their computers. Soon, miners discovered that graphics cards used for gaming were much better suited to this kind of math. Graphics cards are faster, but they use more electricity and generate a lot of heat. The first commercial Bitcoin mining products included chips that were reprogrammed for mining Bitcoin. These chips were faster, but still power-hungry. ASIC, or Application Specific Integrated Circuit Chips, are designed specifically for Bitcoin mining. ASIC technology has made Bitcoin mining even faster while using less power. This一道题，这样的话，我们随计算正确的话，就会得到奖励。这个奖励就是我们现在的虚拟货币，也就是目前矿场的比特币。你先最多的时候，我们大概每天能挖接近一百个比特币，但是随着难度的增加跟算力的
as more people start to mine, it, it, they become harder and harder to find. So it's kind of been a, uh, I correlate it to like an arms race, right? The guy with the biggest gun wins at this point. In addition to designing and manufacturing ASIC chips and full server racks, Bitfury has pioneered the groundbreaking concept of low-cost computing center development. And that's where the story of Bitfury and its commissioning of the new 20 megawatt low-cost computing center begins. The biggest cryptocurrency computing center in the world today. Bitfury chose Republic of Georgia, a location with abundant hydropower and very competitive energy prices. Yes, a fully operational, cutting-edge, energy-efficient data center in only 30 days. Indeed, there's an amazing once-in-a-life opportunity out there. A real lucrative potential for a new generation of entrepreneurs to emerge and dominate the world of cyber currency mining for years and decades to come. On the basis of complicated, state-of-the-art mathematical principles, the transactions are verified by the so-called Bitcoin miners, who maintain the ledger. The mathematical principles also ensure that these nodes automatically and continuously agree about the current state of the ledger and every transaction in it. If anyone attempts to corrupt a transaction, the nodes will not arrive at a consensus, and hence will refuse to incorporate the transaction in the blockchain. So every transaction is public, and thousands of nodes unanimously agree that a transaction has occurred on date X at time Y. It's almost like there's a notary present at every transaction. This is 4,000 GPUs consuming about a megawatt of electricity. And in order for you to reverse a transaction or to not agree that one has happened, you have to have more computing power than the rest of the network against you. So in order to stop it, the calculation is something like 400 billion laptops to try to delay a transaction by 10 minutes. And that's all it will do, because we'll pick it up and we'll put it in the next block. Mm -hmm. So that provides the security. The massive potential is the ledger, this public ledger that's underneath. And so we can see that the, the Bitcoin blockchain can be used to secure anything that's public information. The digital world is a part of our DNA now. It's how we share our experiences, how we consume our entertainment, how we stay in touch with our loved ones. This is how we used to send letters, to travel, to make phone calls and shoot movies. Mankind invented software and technologies, breaking every distance, border, difficulty, and pulling the world instantly closer together. But what about banking? Think about it. Billions of people in the world have no access to financial tools. Borders and the system create barriers. We trusted banks, but they collapsed time and time again. They take hundreds of billions in fees from us. Bitcoin doesn't care where you're born what color your skin is, or where you are in the world. It's an open network. It's maintained equally by people all over the world. Anyone can verify the transactions, and it happens instantly. 
For just a few cents, you can send any amount of money to anywhere in the world. Bitcoin is a global community of inclusion, an invitation to participate in an open world. Join us today, start a Bitcoin wallet, and help us shape the future.